Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I did a video on these about three months ago and it had mildly success. I was a little bit sarcastic in there, a little bit, a little too lively for some people, but I was talking about the High Keys by Key Australia with Desi Perkins. If you guys don't know anything about these sunglasses, they are basically the new aviators, the new Ray-Bans of today, of 2017 people, of Instagram. They are the aviators of Instagram, basically. And Desi Perkins, who is an influencer, she's an, a YouTuber herself, and a, an Instagram like goddess, she came out with these glasses, as well as others, with Key Australia, their sunglass brand. I'm gonna link the video I did three months ago down below so you can see it because I did the basically the entire sunglass collection up to that point but she recently came up with two new two new shades so I was like you know what I need to add to the whole collection but before I go into that I'll basically show you all the old ones and then I get into the new ones real quick I'm not gonna really speak that much about them or kind of have that same demeanor that I had in my first video because honestly I'm just kind of trying to keep it short and sweet for this I'll give you kind of my thoughts and should you spend your money on this because honey they are not cheap so my favorite ones are obviously the black on blacks so like I wear these every day so much that I have little like holes there because they do get scratched. These sunglasses, I'm sorry guys if I'm blinding you. These sunglasses do get scratched very easily. You have to take real good care of them. Now when I first got them, they were $60. And when they started doing re-releases and more shades, they upped it to $65. Now, a lot of people are saying it's a difference in the cases because these were the cases prior to the price change. And these are the cases of now. Honestly, I don't even use the cases because I think both of them are crap. I suggest going on Amazon and getting a hard case for your sunglasses is better. Or if you have your own, use those because these cases are horrendous. I don't really get why they raised it $5. In all honesty, I think they're a little bit overpriced for $65. I'm from New York. You go to Chinatown, get a pair of aviators for five, well, fake aviators for $5. So I'm like, $5 sunglasses from Forever 21 or $65 from Key. Also, their policy is a little eh for me. They have a three-month policy and they have a lot of stipulations. And I don't know. I dealt with their customer service and I'm not really a big fan. I buy the glasses personally to support Desi. If you think about getting these, please, please, please read the policy, look up reviews, and make sure that you're making an informed decision before you buy these sunglasses. I just showed you the black on black, which are my favorite pair, which I use every day because black goes with everything. These were my first pairs. As you can see, I'm sorry about the reflection, the glare. They have this huge scratch on the lenses, and that's what happens to your glasses when you don't take care of them. They get really scratched. These get really scratched up and sensitive, and for $65, they shouldn't get scratched from me just holding it, so eh. My next faves are the black faves, which are like, yes, honey. Now, I don't wear these often because I just, I just like the all black. Um, these are nice, but Something to know about these sunglasses, if you wear foundation, if you're a makeup person, you're definitely going to need to bring a beauty blender or some type of makeup sponge because the, whatever these nose pieces are called, uh, will smudge your makeup right here. Just take a sponge or your fingers and just dab it and it goes away, but that does happen. I've noticed that with more powdery foundations, it doesn't happen, but with more dewy foundations, it happens a lot more. All the sunglasses I'm going to show you, how I feel when I wear the high keys is that I'm a boss. I can take over the world whenever somebody's catcalling or saying some shit. I just... These are my chronic face. Like, I just have a face like, I don't want to be bothered. Don't talk to me. Don't sit on me on the train. Just ignore me, please. All these sunglasses, that's how I feel when I wear them because they're so huge. And I have a... Girl, I have a big old head. I got a big old, you know, round head and they fit my head. So if you have... A small head you might want to get at least one pair because they might be a little too big for you these are one of my favorites but I never wear them that often and these are the golds itself like yes the golds are stunning but with my blonde hair it can be a little overwhelming so that's why I don't wear them but I do love them I'll also be linking down below my Instagram post I'll be wearing each of the sunglasses so if you don't know which one to buy um, you can look at the photos and make that informed decision for yourself, girl. Because I know there are so many colors now, and you're like, girl, what color do I get? 
Another one of my favorites are these. These are the blues. These will scream attention. So if you're an attention seeker, if you want something that's outside your collection, get the blues. Every time I wear the blues, I've worn these a couple of times, people stare at me. They're like, as you can see, the blue coat with, with my blue background, like just look. Yes, honey. The blues are stunning. They are unlike any sunglasses that I own or any sunglasses that I've seen. If you want a crowd stopper, get the blue ones because, honey, you're you going to be stopping some crowds. If you watched my previous video, you saw that these took me by surprise on how much I like them. And these are the silver on silver. And I haven't worn them, which is a shame. Maybe in the fall, they will get my attention more. Like, these silver on silver are fire. I love them. I think that they're amazing. Oh, they are stunning. I just don't want to like scratch them. That's why I just use the blacks because I'm like, eh, nobody can really notice it. I don't want to ruin the nicer ones, <laughs> at least in my opinion. The blacks are like my everyday, like running in the mud, like I'm I'm trekking it. But the other ones, I'm like, no, these are for like photo shoots that I never do but you know maybe I will one day obviously you guys came to this video not to see the other shades because if you wanted to you could see my other video which I have all of them and I'm modeling them and I'm giving you my opinion you came here to see the new shades because obviously when she announced that she's coming out to new shades I was like girl I don't know I was really debating if I needed them because in all honesty out of the shades that I have I just really use the black on blacks because those are my staple I feel like they go with any outfit any occasion I don't really have to mix and match, but I was like, you know what, let me give these others. And I'm the type of person I like to finish a collection. I am the Adele of collections because, you know, she always got to finish it. She comes in trios. I was like, I got to, I got to, I got to get them all. These are how they come. They come wrapped. These are how the sunglasses arrive. They always arrive in a plastic and a little plastic ziploc -y bag. When you take them out the bag, well, they are too stuck. Um, they come in the case like this. And you take them out the case, and they're in this little plastic thingy majig. These are the rose, the rose lens with the gun metal. Which the gun metal is all right. It's like this weird, like brownish, chromey thing. And these are the rose. Ignore the sticker, guys. Let me just move that back there somewhere. Make it look like an earring. These are the rose gold. In all honesty, when I look at them, they do nothing for me. I don't like pinks like this, and I just, the gunmetal, meh. If you like rose, and if you like gunmetal, obviously these are for you. I don't think that they're necessary. If you want to complete the collection, I think, you know, go for it. But do I think that they're necessary? No, I think that the, her other ones were a little bit more stunning. And these are, meh. They're okay. They're not my favorite. They're not the worst, but... They're not as pretty as, you know, I don't know. I, I just, rose gold things don't, don't catch my attention like that. So, these are a meh. The other shade that she came out with are the green golds. Now, girl, just the olive. And in all honesty, I don't know if it's the lights, but they're not that, like, I don't know. Like, I like that the that the rim was green and that the lenses are gold but if you have just the gold ones I don't think you need these I kind of wish that the lens were kind of like an olive color and like the outside perimeter was gold but this I'm a little disappointed I kind of thought it was going to be the other way around they're nice but if you already have the original gold you don't need this what are my thoughts on the new colors I think that they're okay if you don't have the other colors if you do you might want to skip on these and save that $130 girl because Honestly, I'm not really, I'm not really impressed. I'm not, like, I liked when they first came out, but now, I don't know. I just feel like the colors are just meh, and I'm just going to stick with the blacks. If you want something, the golds are a stunner uh, by themselves. If you want something that's basically everyday, or the blacks, or you can even get the black fades if you want something that's neutral, but that's a little bit more fashion-esque. If you want something that's going to make you pop out and stand out, I highly suggest the blue ones because the blue lens just screams attention. The silver ones are really nice too. The new ones, mm, I don't know. I just, I'm just not a fan. I'm looking at them in person too and I'm like, meh. They're alright. They're not my favorite. But, you know, sign off in the comments down below. Do you need all of them? No. I truly, truly cannot stress enough how when you're buying anything just don't take somebody's word for it do your research become an informed consumer an informed buyer 
make sure you check out the policies online any return look at reviews just everything that you can before you make a purchase because I it's so disheartening to see people lose their hard on money because they see something that's so hyped up on Instagram or social media in general and then it ends up not being what they want so I always want to stress on my channel how important it is to be an informed consumer and an informed buyer before you buy anything I will give you my recommendations and always guys I give my honest opinion I know that money does not grow on trees and not everyone could buy $65 sunglasses it is just not feasible and before you guys leave don't forget to like this video for all this sunglass modeling and while you're on your way to that like button girl subscribe you know you want to and when you subscribe make sure you send the link to your friends so that they can subscribe so as always guys when they subscribe they can tell their friends and tell their friends and tell their friends and tell their friends so that we can all be part of this great big familia don't forget to check out my social media my snapchat my instagram i reopened my twitter so if you don't follow me on twitter i do kind of rants i kind of like look at world views that i don't really talk about on my youtube my snapchat or my instagram as always, guys, I hope you truly enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!